Joyville was one of my favorite mascot horror games in the past couple of years, and we were blessed enough to have a second teaser trailer just come out last week. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down everything that happened in that trailer and theorizing what to expect in the second chapter. That includes new secret storylines, and not to mention the antagonists that are going to one-up the ones that we just dealt with. And the teaser starts off exactly where we left off at the end of chapter 1, falling down to what could potentially be our protagonist's death. Now, if you'll recall, this is the exact same elevator we jumped in, just barely surviving. And thank God for our teddy bear as we just barely escaped Wooly Bully's grasps. Craziest part about all of this is just when we thought we escaped him, he jumped on top of the elevator shaft which in return sent a chain reaction, allowing us to plummet to the ground. And that's where the chapter two trailer picks up. You'll notice the wreckage from the elevator as well as a familiar body. Also, looking to the left, you'll notice our teddy bear is also in pieces. And we already know how essential this teddy bear was in chapter one. It not only served as a key to many doors, but it also had a lot of other factors as well. But what's really essential about this bear is that it is so important that as mentioned by Ethan Jenkins in the tape that we found the bear, this thing has some purposes that were so special he didn't even want to mention them on camera as he didn't want them to reach the wrong hands, which could potentially mean that this bear has got to serve as a bigger purpose down the line in the story of Joyville, but of course more on that later. You'll notice though, there's gotta be a way to go back into chapter one, as there were certain locations and doors that we weren't able to open with the bear, but instead another stuffed animal, this one being a rabbit. So does that mean that our toy bear is out of commission for chapter two, or are we going to eventually find a way to fix it? And is that essential in advancing throughout the chapter? My thought is that we will stumble across not only a way to fix it somewhere down the line, but we have to come across another stuffed animal, and my guess being the rabbit. Now let's talk about the big elephant in the room, or should I say the big woolly bully underneath the rubble. First thing that I wanna point out is that the graphics here got a major update. Wooly Bully looks insane under this, whether he's dead or alive. Now, in my opinion, I don't think he's dead just yet, seeing as he seems to be the main antagonist of the game, similar to Huggy Wuggy in Poppy Playtime. However, in mentioning Poppy Playtime, we also know that these companies sometimes don't have an issue with killing off their main antagonist, seeing as we only got a glimpse of Huggy Wuggy shortly in Chapter 3, and that was through hallucination, which could possibly mean that he did actually die in Chapter 1, similar to Wooly Bully in chapter one of Joyville. Now, the next cut of the trailer leads to what looks like four words written on the ground. These words spell out what I believe says, please help mommy evil. Now, this could also be read as please mommy help evil. However, like I said, since it could be interpreted in two ways, we can only look at it two ways. One being that there could be an evil female antagonist somewhere within Joyville, maybe the main antagonist of the game. The second way of looking at it is of course being a mom-like figure helping the children of Joyville from whatever evil lies within the building. Now, if you ask me, I think the first one is more likely. Now, the next shot pans to the same green swamp monster that we saw in chapter one's locker room. And my guess is we're gonna be seeing a real version of him later on down the line. In this case, we only get a glimpse of the bubble machine and a book bag. And then it pans back to that exact hallway where we saw the writing, except it exposes a couple more words, and those words being please don't, as well as the words evil written all over the hallway and the door. Now, if you'll recall in chapter one, this same evil writing was written around the door from chapter one. And the next shot is even more interesting. As you'll notice, there is a poster that says, immerse yourself in the land of joy with this pink cat-like creature that somewhat resembles Wooly Bully with her eyes shining through the mouth. But what's even more interesting about this ripped up poster is that there is a carnival in the background. And this carnival, I'd assume, belongs to the Land of Joy, which in my opinion has to be somewhere on the premises. 
and potentially hinting towards the location of chapter 2. Which, speaking of chapter 2, the next scene shows the door in front of us, the one that has evil written all around it, and please don't, almost begging us not to step foot in this place. It begins to slowly open, releasing a glimmer of light, this light being similar to the one that we see in the teaser trailer's thumbnail, and there is a giant paw behind that light. Now, this paw must belong to some type of big cat, maybe even a lion, and they push this idea when you look at the thumbnail closely. Notice the ball of yarn. Balls of yarn are always in relation to that of a cat's toy. But what's even more interesting about this door is the fact that it has a welcoming glowing light coming from it, which leads me to believe that this is the entrance to that secret joy land. Now, speaking of an example of an unwelcoming door, you'll notice the next shot shows another door that is somewhere located in this exact location. You'll notice in this shot a lot of similar things, for example the writing on the wall, the poster being ripped, that pipe on the ground, and that red shelf. Now, when this door opens, that ball of yarn from the thumbnail rolls out of it, and that's what makes me believe the antagonist is somewhere located in this room. And that can be further confirmed when slightly after that, a giant paw comes out from behind the door. Now, this giant cat paw doesn't look as friendly as the thumbnail. It's a white slash grayish paw, and it reaches around and slams the door shut. Now, if you play chapter 1, you'll instantly recognize this white paw. This looks like a more realistic version of the cat monster that we saw at the beginning of chapter 1 when we ran into the play zone. And I don't know about you, but this pretty much confirms the antagonist of chapter 2 being this insane looking white cat. But more interesting than even the white cat, and I did say we were going to bring this up later on in the video, is this next scene here. When the screen cuts to black, take a listen to this voice line. How did you end up here, I wonder? <laughs> How did you end up here, I wonder? Now notice, this is a female's voice line, and remember what I said going back down that hallway. The character that probably is running this whole thing is some type of evil female, or in this case, evil mom. You can hear her voice as sinister as it can be, with the evil laugh at the end of her voice line. And that's when the Joyville logo 2 comes into focus as you notice that same yarn ball with the same paw on top of it. So to sum up, the new antagonist for chapter 2 is most likely going to be the white cat that we saw at the beginning of chapter 1. Wooly Bully may or may not still be alive, I'm hoping that he does come back somewhere down the line as he was a really cool character. And to make things even worse, there is a new mom-like antagonist running around. But I'm sure we'll only see glimpses of her throughout chapter 2 as I think she's going to be more of a bigger picture villain. Now, I just assume that this person is human only because none of the monsters that we've come across at this point, at least through chapter 1, have been able to speak to us. And this really makes me wonder if that videotape and the person that we didn't want this bear to get into the hands of was this woman's voice. One thing's for certain, we're definitely going to get more answers when we play chapter 2, and I still want to know what the giant evil looking creature was that cut in between the lines of the VHS tape from chapter 1 is going to be, seeing as I really thought that that was going to be the main antagonist, but I do believe that this woman could potentially be someone who started all of this to begin with and I'm definitely interested to find out who she is, and hopefully you are as well. And if you stuck around this far in the video, thank you again for all your love and support. If you do want to see more trailer breakdowns just like this, do me a big favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out!